Lucy Boyce, hey friend. So now, rather than running the first or the second string in isolation, you're going to run them in unison and create parallel thirds. So the E5 is paired with the G sharp at the fourth to get a major third. Two is a minor third, just like your chord scale. So is three. Four is major. You know that. A and B. Five is major. And then the minor scale, you'll start with a minor, of course, E and G. And it goes minor, minor, major for G, and then minor, minor. So again, minor, minor, major, minor, minor. And you can do the same two articulations. Do that major and minor. And then try the waltz, you can try it minor. scale in A, use a flat finger A, inner four strings, five, four, three, two, then this is an A4 minor bar chord. It feels like these are playing an A minor, and your bar just covers five now, and you have a B minor to five string chord. Whoops. And then the three chord would be C sharp minor, the new version of it, which is the same notes as this. It's just one fewer. This has a high E2 this does not. Okay, so there's your chord scale in A, just three chords so far. A, B minor, C sharp minor, B minor, and A. Okay, keep continue to review D minor, D major, D7, D sus4, oops, excuse me, D sus4, and D sus2. And finally, we didn't look at any of your blue scales this week, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, okay, the Sweet Creature Chorus. So um, starts the way that you know. But uh, sweet creature, sweet creature. Now it goes all the way down the scale. Four, three, two, one. Wherever I go. I had the D pattern wrong the first time. It's it's an assistant quarter note bass, and it's pinch with one. So pinch, four, three, four, two, four. Second times, where am I? Oh, something about running out of road. Pause is on two, pause is on one, and then does the D. So the whole chorus. But oh, sweet creature, sweet creature. funky. You have your bass is on G, first finger, and you play quarter notes. One, two, three, four, one, two. And after whatever it is, eight measures, you go to the E. But you're hammering on the D string at the fourth fret from the open note, which is kind of unusual. And you're doing that on a pinch from the first beat of each four measures, like the, of each two measures. And then your whole pattern goes... be ringing while the bass continues like this. Then it repeats the G. Am I doing that right? Yes, I am. And then you switch the bass to the E. Play the same thing otherwise. joked with you about fighting over a finger choice, you can experiment. You might find that like hammering on your second finger is nice to go, because then here, maybe that's stronger, or maybe you change fingers, maybe you start with your third.
Um, so you have the end of the chorus or the full chorus, and you have the bridge, and then we should be 100% done. Have fun!